May I have your attention, everyone? I've just received our next mission from Star Command. They want us to go to the Brian Galaxy. They also said that any crew member that did not want to take the risk could get off before we leave. They realized that this could be a tough mission and they're not forcing anyone to go. I have accepted the mission. And I need to know if you're all with me. I understand if you want to decline and I won't think any less of you if you did. The chances of us making it back from this one are not in our favor. Mr. Martin. I accept, sir. Ms. Abernathy. I accept, Captain. Ms. Ramsey. I'm staying. On board, Captain. Mr. Connors. Decline. Decline. Decline to get off this ship, sir. I'm very serious when I say that it will be our most difficult mission. We're going into a known hostile environment. Do you understand what the consequences may be? We understand. Very well. Take whatever personal preparations you need before we leave. Prepare for departure. That is all. If I may, sir. Why did you accept this mission? Because it was there, Mr. Carlos. And nobody else wanted it. Well, that's understandable, sir. Nobody thinks they'll return. Everybody dies someday, Mr. Connors. Nobody knows what day that'll be. We've all enlisted in this battle. And we understood the magnitude of it before we did. But to take the gospel to that sector, sir, we'll never make it past our outer layer. They'll shoot us down first. I have a plan. What plan is that, sir? Plan A. Which is... If I may, sir. Is this going to be a suicide mission, sir? Mr. Connors, you are my best friend. And I love my crew. And I haven't lost anyone yet. But the Lord Jesus laid down his life to reach us. Now he's called us to do the same, if necessary, to reach others. And we've accepted that call. Yes, we have, sir. Now, rest assured that I'm taking every precaution necessary going into that galaxy. And I understand that it could get difficult. And I'm prepared to battle. But preaching the cross of Christ is our mission. Now, I don't want to die any more than you do. And I don't want to die any sooner than I have to. But preaching the gospel to every creature is our call. And that's what I aim to do. That's plan A. Then plan A it is, sir. Now, is our ship ready to go? She is, and I've never seen her in better condition. What about this computer program for our weapons? It's installed, sir. But I must admit, I'm a bit baffled as to why you wanted it. Baffled. My chief engineer a bit baffled. Yes, sir. <laughs> baffled. Captain, are we going to be traveling with a full crew? I put in a request for 127. 127, sir? But we normally travel with over 200. This mission is too risky. I only want those necessary to keep every operation in order. I understand, sir. Do what you need to do to get ready to leave, Mr. Connors. We don't have much time. Yes, sir. If I may be personal, Captain. Are you scared, sir? I'd be a dishonest man if I said no. 
but I feel it's the Lord's will that we go on this mission, even if it's our last. Ms. Ramsey, may I speak with you a moment? Yes, Captain. Are you sure you want to go on this mission? You're still very young, and you have a lot of life ahead of you. Thank you, sir. But when I gave my life to Jesus Christ, that is exactly what I did. I am committed to the Great Commission, which I believe is the highest calling in life. Plus, I've always dreamed of space travel since I was a child. I've enjoyed my tenure with this fleet, sir, and I've enjoyed my time with this crew. So to answer your question, Captain, yes, I am ready for this mission. Because I know you will do everything you can to keep us alive and to share the gospel as well. There is nothing more I can ask of you, sir. Thank you for your faith, Miss Ramsey. May the Lord reward you. Thank you, Captain. Mr. Martin. Captain Gates. How are you, my friend? A bit nervous, sir. But other than that, I'm fine. Are you sure you want to make this journey? And now, Captain, do you really need to ask me that question? Just making sure. I've flown every mission with you since day one, sir. I don't plan on breaking that streak now. Very well. Have you studied the Brian galaxy in much detail? I have, sir. I feel like I know every sector of the galaxy. Good. Prepare for departure. Yes, Captain. Miss Abernathy. Yes, Captain. I want to thank you for accepting this mission. You're welcome, sir. Are you sure you want to go? Quite sure. What makes you so sure? You're going, and that's good enough for me. I trust you. I trust your decisions. I know that you'll keep everything perfectly balanced. And I'm not afraid to die. For such a young age, you have great courage. I'm not afraid to die because I know with whom I've trusted my heart. I believe that when I die, Christ will carry me into heaven by his grace, power, and forgiveness. This gives me great peace and assurance. Spoken very well, Miss Abernathy. I believe the exact same. It is not I who will get me to heaven. It is he. Yes, sir. Make your final preparations. Yes, sir. Ms. Ramsey, has everything checked out? Yes, Captain, all procedures are 100%. Mr. Martin? Computers functional and ready, sir. Ms. Abernathy? All communication systems are a go. Mr. Connors? We're at full power, sir. All engines and backup. We're ready to go. Attention all crew. Captain Gates speaking. Prepare for departure. And remember, people, say a special prayer for protection and wisdom on this journey. And thank you for serving the Lord on this flight. Ms. Ramsey, set a course for Brian Galaxy at a speed of 09,000. 09,000, yes, sir. Mr. Martin, that special computer program running? Yes, Captain. Ms. Abernathy, open up the frequency for Star Command only at this time. Yes, Captain. Mr. Connors, full engine power. Full power, sir. Ms. Ramsey, engage speed. Analysis, Mr. Martin. Everything on the ship is in perfect working order. Our course is unimpaired and we're heading straight to the Brian Galaxy, sir. Thank you. Ms. Abernathy, get me Star Command. Yes, sir. Star Command line is open, sir. Star Command, this is Captain Jonathan Richard Gates speaking. 
We've set a course for the Brienne Galaxy en route to fulfill our mission. I have 127 crew members aboard this ship, all fully aware of the danger that lies ahead. And yet, as I speak, there is a calm on this ship, a trust in the Lord that he will guide us and keep us. Whether we survive or not is totally up to him. But let it be known that as we travel towards our destination, we go in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Captain Gates out. Thank you, Ms. Abernathy. Thank you, sir. Ms. Ramsey, let me know when we're nearing the outer layer of the galaxy. Yes, Captain. Mr. Martin, please inform me if and when you detect any life out there. At this time, Captain, there are no other life forms of any kind. We are the only ones traveling in this part of the galaxy. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Captain, may I have a word with you, sir? Yes, Mr. Connors. Captain, when you get near that outer layer, you know we're going to be in for a tremendous battle. I am well aware of that, Mr. Connors. Then may I ask what you intend to do once we get there, sir? If I told you that, Mr. Connors, you would try to talk me out of it. Does Star Command know what you're planning to do, sir? No. I accepted this mission on my own, and I gave them no record of operation. Well, after hearing that, I feel like a kamikaze pilot headed for destruction. Have faith, Mr. Connors, and trust. Easy to say, but hard to do, sir. It is easier the more you know the Lord and His Word. It gives you inner strength and courage beyond comprehension. I understand, sir. Now man your post and be ready for anything. Yes, sir. Captain, we're nearing the outer layer of the Brian Galaxy. Ms. Ramsey, protect the barriers up full. Barriers up full, sir. Backup barriers up full. Pardon me, sir? Captain, if you do that, that'll greatly cut down our speed and our lateral movement. Understood, Mr. Connors. Ms. Ramsey, backup barriers up full. Backup barriers up full, sir. Captain, do you know what you're doing? Plan A, Mr. Connors. Don't ever forget plan A. But we're gonna be like a turtle out there in a race against rabbits, sir. I am well aware of our slower speed, Mr. Connors. Ms. Abernathy, Please open up all communication channels. Let me know as soon as you hear something. Yes, sir. Mr. Martin, do you see anything or anybody yet? Negative, sir. There's nothing on the scope or scanners. Right now, there is nothing out there. Except us. Except us. Mr. Connors, do you detect anything yet? Nothing, sir. Not a thing. Ms. Abernathy, do you detect any signals at all? Nothing, sir. Not a sound. Ms. Ramsey, do you see anything out there on your screen? No, sir. Nothing. There is something out there. I know it. Mr. Connors, disengage our weapons. Pardon, sir? Disengage our weapons now. But, sir... Now, Mr. Connors. Disengage, sir. But, Captain... We're going to be a sitting duck. That's what we want, Mr. Martin. That's exactly what we want. But, sir, if I may, these people are known ruthless killers. They shoot first, then ask questions. I am well aware of the history of these people. Miss Ramsey, cut speed to 0-1000. Captain Gates, this is insane, sir. Mr. Connors, just to make sure that the protective barriers are up. Miss Ramsey? Yes, Captain. Speed cut to 0-1000. Anything yet, Mr. Martin? Negative, sir. Captain, we cannot be in a more vulnerable position. We're as good as dead. Mr. Martin, make sure the computer scans are open. All of them. They are, sir, but... Thank you, Mr. Martin. Yes, sir. Captain, do you know what you're doing, sir? Yes, Mr. Connors, but you don't. And that troubles you. It is also the reason why you are in that position, and I am in this one. Now, if you'll allow me to do my job, instead of questioning every command, this ride will go a lot smoother. Sorry, sir. No need for an apology, Mr. Connors. I understand your concerns and your fears. Ms. Abernathy, do you hear anything yet? No, sir. Mr. Martin? Nothing yet, Captain. Are you sure? Yes, sir. 
unless whatever you think is out there is invisible. Mr. Collins, did you hear what Mr. Martin just said? Yes, sir. I'm scanning the entire area. Do you detect anything? Nothing, sir. Mr. Martin? Nothing yet, sir. There is something out there. I know it. But the computers say there isn't anything out there, sir. That's because they can't see what they can't see, Mr. Gullis. Captain, if there is something out there, and it is invisible, even with our most sophisticated equipment, it cannot be detected. But I believe it has detected us. Ms. Abernathy, do you hear anything yet? Nothing, Captain. Everybody just sit still. There is something out there. Captain, I'm hearing something. Put it through, please. Earth Vessel, you are now traveling in a restricted area. You must leave immediately, or else you'll be destroyed. We come in peace. You must leave immediately, or else you'll be destroyed. I repeat, we come in peace. You must leave immediately, or else you'll be destroyed. Hold your course, Miss Ramsey. No sudden moves. Yes, sir. Ms. Abernathy, keep the frequency open. It's open, sir. Our weapons are down. We're traveling with a less than normal crew. Scan our craft's computers and you'll see. Your weapons are as you say. What do you want and why are you here? Our mission is one of peace and hope and love. We have news for you, news that you may not have heard. We are not interested in any news from your vessel. You must leave immediately, or else you'll be destroyed. You have 180 of your seconds. This is our final warning. But you must hear this news, or you will be destroyed if you don't. I repeat, you will be destroyed if you do not hear the news that we have to tell you. Captain, we have three minutes to leave. 249 and counting. Attention all crew, Captain Gates speaking. Extreme red alert, extreme red alert. Prepare for the worst. Pray for the best. Put your trust in the Lord to bring us through this situation. He's the only one who can. Captain Gates out. Captain, we still have time to retreat. That is not why we came, Mr. Connors. That is not the reason for this mission. But Captain, you have made contact with them and you've heard what they said. My hearing is not impaired, Mr. Connors. Captain, I do not want to die. Understood, Mr. Connors. Nor do I, nor anyone else on this ship. Just man your post. Trust the Lord. Yes, sir. Captain, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Trust in the Lord, Miss Ramsey. Trust and wait. is our helper and our defense. Time, Mr. Martin. One minute, 25 seconds. Hold your course, Miss Ramsey. Keep communication lines open, Ms. Abernathy. Stand by, Mr. Martin. Stand by, Mr. Connors. For what, sir? To be blown to pieces in outer space? Have faith, Mr. Connors. Have faith. I'm trying, sir, but it's failing me fast. Understood, Mr. Connors. Trust the Lord. As I stated previously, our mission is one of peace and hope and love. We've come to bring you news that you may not have heard. You must hear this news or you will be destroyed. I repeat, you must hear this news or you will be destroyed. 
50 seconds. We can't leave until we tell you this news. 45 seconds. Mr. Connors, cut 90% of the engine power. What, sir? Cut power, Mr. Connors. Yes, sir. Mr. Martin, pull all power from everywhere in the ship and put it on the barriers. Yes, sir. We're not going anywhere until we've done our duty and told you this news. You can destroy us, but if you do, you will no doubt destroy yourselves. We have scanned your vessel and can destroy you with one of our smallest weapons. You do not have weapons on your vessel that could do any harm to us. You have 20 of your seconds. Then why would we just sit here and let you destroy us if we didn't have something very important to tell you? Something that 127 crew members are willing to die for, for people they don't even know. Do you understand? Or are you incapable? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are not capable of understanding what you have spoken, but we are curious. Please explain. Your civilization is one of destruction which you believe to be self-preservation. Many centuries have passed, and we have seen civilization after civilization who believe the same thing. They believe if they conquer new worlds, they will preserve themselves. They have been wrong. And all who believe that way are also wrong. Our mission is to proclaim the God of the universe to you and his son, Jesus Christ, who came to earth many years ago to proclaim a life of surrender and death to self. This act of surrender will actually result in true life, spiritual life, to live forever in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ is the only one that can set your civilization free from the destructive lifestyle it is known. If you want to know more, then we come in peace but if you don't want to hear more, then we will leave this sector immediately. We await your answer. We find what you say to be of interest. We have never heard of this man and would like to know more. Everything we know about this man is recorded in a book we have called the Bible. We can have one sent to your planet. Does this book contain all of the information you know about this man? Yes then it is not necessary for you to come to our planet. No, it is not necessary. The book contains all the information we would ever tell you. You may send down the book. We need your coordinates. Captain, we have them. Once you send us this book, you are free to leave our galaxy. Understood. Mr. Connors, would you please send down one Bible, sir? Yes, Captain. Ms. Abernathy, please close the line of communication. Yes, sir. One Bible is being sent to the coordinates they gave us now. It arrived on the planet, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Captain Gates? Yes, Miss Ramsey. I don't think I've ever been so scared. You certainly weren't alone. I have to admit, Captain, I thought you had... Thought what, Mr. Martin? I didn't understand what you were doing, sir. Neither did I, sir. The scripture says to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. That's from the ancient King James Version, sir. Which is just as accurate today as it was then. Remember, our trust is in the Lord, not in your captain. All I did was obey his call. And obey his call you did. Thank you, sir. Yes, Captain. Thank you for standing firm. Yes, Captain. Captain. I want to offer my deepest apology, sir. Don't say another word, Mr. Connors. I appreciate your friendship more than you'll ever know. The Lord uses you to keep my dependence on him. But I have to ask you, sir, how did you know they would not destroy us? I didn't. But I figured if they saw us completely defenseless, it would be an example of humility and give us the chance to reach these people. And even though we will not be speaking to them face to face, 
God's word will still perform its mighty work. The Lord's word is more powerful than a two-edged sword. It can change the most vile heart. And we are all proof of that. Mr. Connors, full engine power. Full power, sir. Ms. Ramsey, set our speed at 0-3,000. 0-3,000, yes, sir. We're going home.